Hello everyone and welcome back once again with Unity of Command 2. We're back and after successful landing in southern France, we now get to advance to Antwerp, although there's not that much difference in time here. Ten days. After months of hard fighting, the Allies have finally broken out into the open. Having stood its ground until breaking point, the German army has all but disintegrated. As such, supply is now the Allies' largest concern. The Belgian port of Antwerp is the largest port in Europe, and taking it will allow the Allies to freely operate their vast armies and air forces. And taking the objective will improve your starting situation, which is clear the Scheldt. Sure. Let's see what we got here. Now that uh, most of the armor has been destroyed, at least we don't have to worry about enemy counterattacks that much anymore, so that's nice. The German front line has collapsed and the enemy is in full flight. Wipe out as many of these depleted formations as you can while pushing hard and fast for Antwerp. Take as many channel ports as possible along the way, but do not let these minor prizes distract your attention from your primary objectives, Antwerp and the German border. Well, we already have 100% supply, but... All right, let's uh, upgrade our forces first and um, also see which units need elite replacements. So uh, I'll just be uh, be looking to see. These guys will no longer be veteran regardless of what kind of step I'm giving them. And the same counts for this armored unit. So if I, okay, I don't have the reserves for that, but uh, wherever I can, I will give regular replacements. So these guys can get one time regular and they need two times elite to stay at veteran level. And uh, keeping my units at veteran level, I think, is is most important. And you don't have anything neither. Okay, you... No, I have some churchills, sure. It's free. All right, so that's that. I don't have any extra units to buy, so I'm gonna use the AFHQ ability. And to be honest, I'm mostly looking to get the regular steps only because they're already that expensive. Um, I don't really want to spend prestige on buying extra specialist steps. I, I think that might be a bit of a waste. And we're probably already gonna be down on a lot of prestige here, but. I um I do think it's worth it, especially keeping these units that high on the eliteness uh, status. Right, so I do think that we have bought all the extra steps that we could get. There, 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 and there. Um, okay, I get to deploy two units. Let's see. What's up with these guys? They are 267, so I can give them the regular steps. And for you, I don't have anything anymore. It's a shame they will drop below Elite, but they're very close anyway. All right, that's pretty much it, I guess, for this turn. I mean, there's nothing else I get to buy for now. So let's go for the objectives. We have turn six all the way on the edge of the map already. Antwerp, well, almost. Luckily, they get their supply a little bit further, so we could technically cut them off, but we have to race our armor into that direction. So I don't think it's that likely we'll cut these guys off. We have to trounce them in uh, regular combat. Liege, turn nine. We might be able to cut those guys off. And then Luxembourg, turn 10, the final turn. So very, very far-reaching objectives with very little time to get there. The most difficult objective is probably Aachen, which is on the edge of the map, and surely it will be always in supply. So this is going to be difficult. Um, one of the things that you could do is leave a retreat path open for them to hopefully... Get a good result, but this is going to be very tough. I'm going to hope to race infantry in that direction too, so they can hopefully on the, the final few turns actually make a difference. Um, I'm going to need to use the uh, the motor pool trucks for that as well. Um, besides that, we have a couple of harbors. Le Havre, turn 10, Boulogne and Calais, all... Uh, turn 10 and hold objectives but they shouldn't be the biggest issue here because basically once you take Antwerp 
the rest of this area is going to be cut off except for the ports themselves. Um, so that's pri the primary objective pretty much is to cut off all the enemy forces in a, in a pocket here and then make them get out of supply while we race towards those other objectives. That's, that's basically it. There are a couple of guys which could potentially be cut off here as well if I do get to break through here. So we'll, we'll see how that works. I do see a very dangerous unit, the SS Panzergrenadier GVB here. Um, let's use this to absolutely no success. Now, to be honest, you have an 0-2 result. Yeah, let, let's wait on that. A couple of guys here seem to be rear guard units, and uh, I don't. Okay, let's use this. Those attacks are still not the best. I'm, I'm definitely looking for a unit that can actually do that. I guess the British 6th Airborne. And we're off to a very great start. That, that already cost me 20 prestige. Can you imagine? Just a bad roll like that is just... That's why that kind of stuff is just terrifying. 0 and 2 rolls can go bad very often. So... That means that you always want to be on the lookout and try to get as many of those 0 and 3 rolls like this as possible because, you know, otherwise, like, this already can turn into a 1 1. And that is absolutely. very destructive, like, on these guys already. Um, can you guys get there? Yes, you can. Uh, yeah. Good. Oh. Great. I should have done my recon before. That was super silly. Because this... The game mechanics works in such a way that if your units scout another unit, they immediately block off and cower in fear like that. There's a high probability that this is a rear guard unit too. So what I need to do I really don't like putting my armor up there. Like, I think one of the things that is most important is indeed moving these guys. They are blocking the area, which is a bit of a problem for my armor because they can't move further ahead. And I can't actually see what their deal is. Like, I'm losing all of my, my steps here. What can I possibly do? Only the feint attack on them. One thing that's a possibility is moving in here and launching suppressive fire. So we can see that they have this counterattack ability. Um, I ch <laughs> that's funny. It's unreachable. Hmm. What if I give you guys the motor pool? And go in here, overrunning that, and that should put them out of supply, so they can't recover any of those steps. That works. Mm. One of the easier ways to find out if they're a rear guard unit, yep, is doing that. So now. All right, so losing a unit or doing this sucks, but like even if a unit is rear guard now, they'll just be demolished. 
because they, they can't escape. And it's still going great. Okay, so I think... Keeping these guys on the wraps is probably the most important thing. And I don't... I definitely don't need to attack with these guys, so they're just going to move. The unit that can build pontoon bridges is the British second, but they kind of need this position for that. 30% city to ruin. No. And they can still break out here, which is also a problem. They, they will escape if... Uh, if I don't do anything here. Um, I mean, technically... These guys will probably just go in a retreat, and I'm probably just better off moving them ahead. Instead of doing something like attacking this in unfavorable conditions. Uh, let's see though, because in all honesty... Okay, that... Really? I kinda imagined I would have still been able to move, but okay. <clears throat> not not too great again not gonna lie all right let's use you I have to be careful I don't want that to be destroyed um, and the enemy might also actually take Paris so I also have to be careful with that um, Okay, can you build better pontoon bridges now? That is not better. I'm quite sure that if we had this, we would have been able to build them, but I guess no such luck. Um, did I just move myself out of getting these guys stuck? Yes, I did. Well, that's not the greatest. <laughs> Already mistaking, making mistakes left and right. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm not just feeling it today. Like, using three armor there is already a bad decision. The only good thing that happens here is that I got this, but... Let's just say that I'm not not pleased with how I'm doing over here. Um, yeah. All right, these guys gonna escape, and they're gonna probably blow up the bridges too. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least they didn't break out so far. Well, but these guys did. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll uh, I'll take down as many of them as possible. Hmm. That's not good. But I wouldn't have been able to take that on this turn anyhow. Maybe I can actually repair it if I put the infantry there. Yeah. Good. They can still move. I'm looking for an armored unit that can only move up till there. Unfortunately, they also destroyed this bridge, uh, which makes it even more problematic. So I have to take both parts. It also puts them completely out of action. They put an armor there? 
But that doesn't seem like such a good life choice to me. <laughs> I'm getting really tired of this. Like, I know it's not nice complaining about it, but... <sighs> it's very tiring. Especially because they're elites and... Sure. Yeah, I do have plenty of prestige, but... Okay, so at least they can, uh, they can no longer destroy that there bridge. Um, do you have... Hmm. Is it... Not gonna lie, this is painstakingly slow there. Before we once again get get stuck. Ah, we still did get stuck. Right, I'm gonna need to keep that guy there, but these guys don't have any issues moving like that. It does move them forward as much as possible anyhow. So, <clears throat> yeah. Depending on what happens here, I might not even be a Hacking that much. I did cut them off from this rail line, but they still have the other one that moves up. So it doesn't help me yet uh, so far. Um, now, the reason why I'm moving these guys up is because I need to get them over to that position. That's why I'm moving them there. I'm hoping to use the motor pool as well in order to help them out. But we'll see when that becomes available. Mm. I mean, ideally I'll actually use most of the first army units to move in that direction. I can't believe that the odds are so terrible. Okay. <clears throat> Still got rid of some of them. No way to get in there. Not even with you guys. How about some pontoon bridges now? There we go. I think I completely forgot about that unit. Well, they can try to destroy all of them, but I don't think it's going to be that effective. Okay, this is fine. Um, is it though? Yeah. And how about you? No, they, they actually do have a whole lot. What abilities do I have? No ability that will really help me here. 
So I think that's it. Oh no, you guys still get to move. Would have been a big waste if I didn't move them. of the bridges are you going to destroy? Zero. Okay. They might have just given up. The weather... What? Does seem to complicate things a bit as well. Did they retreat from this area entirely? That's how it looks like. They must have been racing pretty hard in order to accomplish that. Okay. Well, they can't even take that city due to the uh, Terrible situation here. Um, they're veterans. I mean, I guess I cannot use them. Yeah. Basically... Rear guard. I need to cut that off. It would have been even better if I would have been able to take that bridge. I mean, I'm happy destroying the armor by itself, but... Because... It also does at least allow me to move through as well. So that is a bonus in a way. I wonder if they're going to try and cut me off. Well, one thing's clear. I need to hold at least a part of the bridge there. They can destroy these bridges, I don't, I don't care. What is also unfortunate is that the, the bridge is, is out. Um... Let's actually move them around. And have these guys. And they're gonna move up and re grab that supply soon. But I need to establish uh, a better supply line here. Now, we do still know that the enemy has this very powerful unit somewhere. There it is, but it doesn't have any supplies. So 
So it will either retreat, I think. Hmm. I have to say I'm a bit skeptical about these guys potentially reaching the age, but we'll see. <clears throat> At the very least, they can't cut... Well, they could cut these guys off, but then they cannot destroy the bridge. Um, and then I'll attack them and they'll have to retreat. I also don't think these guys have that great of a supply out there. Okay, these guys do because of Amiens. But that's about it. Okay, let's just move through here. Moving through the mud is naturally not going to be super great. There are some British armored units. And I, to be fair, I'd rather have the HQ move along the rail line here so that they can help the armored units because they don't really have that much other use so Antwerp there Antwerp is still gonna be tricky uh, yeah of course there's a unit there but let's see if I can, yeah, weaken this guy a bit, because if they cut me off, I'm in trouble. And they might still also have other armored units. Well, I'm, I know they have other armored units. Okay. There we go. Yep. <clears throat> At least they didn't take the HQ. And they're starting to destroy some of those bridges, which actually do help the enemy go from here. So it's, it's actually a bit weird. Okay, let... At least the... I have to say that I've not been fortunate with the weather so far. Okay, that at least eliminates one of these. <laughs> Why this guy decides to, to stick there is beyond me. Hmm. Well, they should be getting decent supplies again soon, I think. And I think also, come on, yeah, the supplies are again flowing. Mm. Yeah, let's let's send them up. Not gonna lie, these guys are very lucky that they continuously have their mud in those specific places where it's necessary for me to to attack. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, game. Really appreciate it. Let, let's grab those prisoners just in case. Um, okay, so the difficulty herein lies that not only 
Do I certainly need to defeat that particular unit? Okay, let's fix the road. They haven't destroyed that bridge, so I'm a bit concerned that the AI might come through there. Uh, this does get me further ahead. Like, naturally they're not going to be behind here. That's not, not a problem. Then where are they? Okay. So, in order to prevent them from leaving, at least I should be doing that for this turn, I think. <clears throat> because it does cut off the rail line as well. And you can see here now that all these guys will be out of supply. So, I don't need to do anything here. Um, and I can completely focus on getting my units up front they have that so they are likely to cut try and cut me off there um, but I can hardly prevent that probably if with uh, with this so I can't take that. If I go in here, they'll probably be able to move back up. I don't think the one hex matters that much. They're not going to be out of supply. Fourth Canadian, why are you out of out of supply? Shouldn't you get supply from the rail line? Oh, the bridge is destroyed. And of course, it's not. Like I said, I'm just. Oh, man. Come on, game. Uh, no, I need to move them back even further. So they'll be in supply on the next turn and then. Yeah, like I like I said, I'm I'm playing like a disaster. They'll all be out of supply for the next turn. Why did Why did I even start playing? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know anymore. <laughs> it's so bad. <clears throat> yeah there's there's no way I can I can actually even get them in supply for this turn I next turn I could potentially like I can get rid of those but that's about it I can't do anything else uh well Yeah. And because of that, they cannot use any abilities. So... What? Okay, how much experience do you have? 320. It's no use attacking. No, definitely not. There's no reason to, to do that. So let's not. Uh, 
Look, I, I might just as well move these guys back because uh, keeping them in that situation is just not going to cut it and it's not going to going to help. So at least keeping some of them in supply. <laughs> at least I discovered it. Uh, okay, they have some armored units. They're probably going to try and cross. So I, I can see them trying to cut me off out here as well. How's this US unit doing? Okay, where do I reasonably expect them to not actually cut me off? Maybe... Maybe in here. Well, here goes disaster game. <laughs> it's just, what am I doing? And why are you out of supply? Uh, okay, yep, they cut me off in multiple places. But that was predicted. <clears throat> and they destroyed their last bridge. Really? You're out of range? Oh yeah, you're cut off. Hmm, they do have plenty of units there. Either way, these guys can no longer cross. Um, ah, oh, come on. <clears throat> okay. Mm, they're going to be out of supply for two turns if I do that. Um, the real question is how many units do I ultimately need all the way up and in Antwerp? I think quite a few. Which unit can still attack? Not you, that's for sure. And uh, this guy neither. So to be fair, at the moment... You could attack from this side of the bridge. Okay, nice. An overrun. And they remain standing there. Uh, so these guys will be able to get in here and then potentially try to move up. But I think that with them being out of supply, I don't think they'll make it. And... Then they'll still be stuck near Antwerp. Can I use that there? No. So... With them still having the supply. No. Uh, sometimes this, if you want to get your own supply, it, it sometimes has a bit of difficulty showing that.
Your supply is still good. Um, so going in here is nice. I do need to get also to Luxembourg. So they can then cross on the next turn and, and get around and cut off Liege on turn 6. So it should be completely cut off on turn 9. Well, that's something. You don't have uh, your abilities up there, so please move. These guys are going to be awfully late, but maybe I can send them to Luxembourg. They might still be of use there. Okay. Well, they should be in supply again on the next turn. the enemy going to be cut off for even longer on the next turn I should be able to finally get a bit further there. They shouldn't be able to do anything and they don't have any other HQ that can potentially destroy any bridges. Yeah, you can attack. Good for you. a lot of stragglers all right uh, what <laughs> that was really weird So they, they gave up on their entrenchments for some reason. <clears throat> okay, that, that didn't come back. Just the two suppression. Oh, they wanted to cut off that particular unit. I see. That uh, that's a pretty good choice by the AI, if I say so myself. Uh, but we did get Antwerp, so we're safe for this turn, so to speak. 
let's start digging these guys out. Oh, huh, well. They're gonna retreat by themselves this way. I don't mind. It's risky. Okay, good. Alright. Uh, that's not bad. Um, let's just move ah, these stragglers. They're killing me. There's too many of them. <laughs> no. I need to keep moving. Because otherwise I'll never reach these places. Those are easier to take, but it's still going to be a tight race because I misplayed it that badly. Um, yeah, I completely messed it up. So I can only hope that these bridges will remain alive. And I do still at least have the naval bombardment. Uh, okay, so that's fine. I don't think that these do anything anymore. Oh, they do. Okay, never mind. Um, they have two units that keep it in supply, actually. These and these. I might... Yeah, let's actually remove this. Because I need that somewhere else soon enough, I think. So I'm not too worried about those guys. They can't cross the river. Okay, next operation. Because I need to clear the skelt. Hmm... Do you guys get supply there? No, you don't. Although, being out of supply for one turn isn't that big of a deal. <clears throat> okay, there shouldn't be anything. So I can take the Skelt objective on the next turn. Why they did that is beyond me. The real, what, what is actually, I think, a, a real issue here is whether Okay, let's move you down. And you too. I don't see them going anywhere else except for Luxembourg. Let's just give you the logistics. So they have the ability to at least move up to Liège, even though they don't have the supply here. Now, I think if I go here, at least that will give me this part. Although that doesn't matter because they will still be out of supply. Only on the next turn is it important that I take that. Ah, that's actually fine. They need to go up around there anyway. <clears throat> So with Antwerp and the Scheldt under wraps, I might as well start moving here. Hmm. How are their supplies now? They're cut off. Okay. So I have some time until I need to take Liege. Aachen is going to be the toughest. But if I can get these guys right next to it, I might be able to dig them out. And that is what I'm gunning for here. 
Let's get both the US first and the British second up. Now the enemy can actually go around here and then move back. So that, that is something that's a bit tricky, although I don't think they will. Um, what's next? You, you, I think we're done though. Let's quickly go past everything. Sure. I had so hoped they wouldn't destroy it. <laughs> Just because of those stragglers, I couldn't take it. That was really tough, actually. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Um, oh, well, if no choice now. Let's go in here and get these guys moving on to a rail. There's supply on both these places, so they're looking pretty decent to, to take that. Um, really? British second? Seven, turn eight, get next to them, turn nine, try to dig them out. Hmm. I cleared the scout. I don't. Oh, yeah, I do have to hold it, but there are no units out there. So it shouldn't actually be an issue. they still get to destroy that. And I will also still cross. I mean, I can take the stragglers with another unit. The most important thing now is to move up towards those locations and clear this general area so one thing that I can do in order to alleviate the situation here a bit is get that supply that doesn't help take Amiens you guys forward okay it's it's looking a bit up I'm, uh, moderately relieved there's still this though they're part of the Canadians even you're also part of the British um, so doing this only one suppression. I mean, technically, okay, well, uh, ah, that's the issue. There's no place to attack. No other choice. 
Come on. Yeah. So what are you going to do? These guys... I just, I can't really use them down there anymore. They're gonna be too slow. So I'm just pretty much just using these to kind of mop up, I guess. Because I have what I need down here. I'm not gonna attack the unit at Aachen for now. I need to take that turn nine. So that's gonna be a double attack on these. One suppression. Well, you probably could have done slightly better. Not not gonna lie, that's a pretty poor result. Um, okay, so you're not useful up here anymore. Probably not, depending on, wait. No, I can't use the motor pool. Let's move him here. Maybe I can mo motor him to up here. Up here on turn eight that could be a thing and then that would allow me at least uh, to continue there all right Do I need that? I don't think so. It's a pretty hefty force. We know there's a unit there. Let's scout it out. Come on, yeah. Engineers, they don't even have that bad of a result. Because if I can cross the river and take Boulogne already at least, then I'm in a better position to potentially take Calais on the next turn as well. Unit at Dunkirk. Because what I can do is leave this pocket to the tanks and these rear infantry and move these guys up there. I do need to let's just increase this. Okay. We know there's an infantry there. Um, so let's do this. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, that's Liege, turn nine, uh, eight. I still need to take Aachen. I still wanna leave a retreat path open for them. And these guys could also still be of use. So, if we take a look at the supply, they should be in supply. These guys should be in supply here too. Because these guys... Um, I mean, I don't... Okay, maybe...
Yeah, I guess now I have no other choice. <laughs> I'll probably have to put them in supply on the next turn. That's okay. Um. Well, you have nothing better to do. <laughs> so let's move up. Mm, and... I don't want to attack there because if I get the city in runes, I'll be in 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 trouble, really. Um, so I'll try to do it without the air force for now, and with some luck, I can actually push them out already. They do have the extra flak, so that that makes it a bit more difficult. And then Luxembourg needs to go on turn ten, so I have a bit more time for those. And then Kala also on turn 10, of course. Yeah, let's uh, let's start out here. I do I have to say I'd, I'd like those engineers up in the north a bit more? And this is all but gone anyway. I can take the last uh, prisoners here. I don't see myself um, taking, well, maybe Bruges there, or that's the, the, that's not Bruges itself. Mm, right. I have to say, I don't like where this is going, because yeah, let, let's just keep one spot open uh, t to let them try and, and get in there. Okay. So that's a, a breach. Ten percent retreat only. Hmm. This is my best attack, though. Elite armor unit. Yeah, no other choice. All right. Sometimes you're gonna have to accept some losses because, yeah, it's just not gonna work out for you any other way. Take Aachen, which gives me B26 reward. The B26. Uh, sure, let's... Oh, uh, no. Can, can I take it back? Oh. Really? I don't want this. <laughs> uh, why does it keep being there? Okay, let's use you. Take this reward. Sure. Maybe I can still use the saturation strike to take the last objective. Who knows? There's nothing else I get to do with it, so. Okay. Second important question will be... Let's move these guys down. Because I have a sensation... Uh, let's take that back, though. Let's put you in supply. I have a sensation that I can t 
take that city without taking those losses on the next turn. They'll be out of supply for one turn, but if I can push them out of the city, I'll be in a, in a good shape. If only I could use a switch ability, but there's no such ability in this game. It's uh, unfortunate. Alright. I could potentially finish off or damage the unit at Dunkirk to increase the amount of points. So... Definitely looking to do that too. Take those prisoners. End the turn. Like I said, that takes Luxembourg. I guess we're doing this. That went well for first attack. They're losing all their steps by moving in here, but I have plenty of units. Oof! <clears throat> all right. Got all the objectives. Well, I'm just gonna leave that. The The losses are not gonna be worth it. So, yeah, it, uh, it went well. Got all the objectives at least, and they won't be able to take anything back. Um, you know, I didn't finish off the guys at Dunkirk, but they didn't do so historically either, so yeah. I do remember that the, the German Dunkirk pocket remained there for a pretty long time too. Uh, yeah, so. Oh well. Uh, let's take Bruges, of course. And uh, is there any way I can get in there? No. Nah. And uh, Saturation Strike would also kill my own units. So I'm not going to do that. Either way, let's celebrate. Hooray! Let's see the points. 406. No mysterious units suddenly turning up in Antwerp? No, they don't. All right. And we also get this professional study logistics for clearing the Scheldt. Um, not that it matters currently, but I have a hunch that clearing the Scheldt is going to be important in a potential future ahistorical scenario. So not that those are out yet in the game. But they might someday. Either way, after the advance on Antwerp, next up will be the race across France. And again, there's this thing where Lyon seems to be the thing that we need to take. Even though I'm quite sure it was clear to Scheldt before. If we... Ah, uh, never mind. Mm. Yeah, because it's CDE, so... Okay, well, either way, next up will be the race across France uh, with Patton's Third Army, uh, well, driving on some other important cities uh, south of our forces going to Antwerp, so... I will have another race against the clock on my hands on that one. Thanks for watching for now. Do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.